after your identity has been recertified, you increase the chances of locating missing family and loved ones. Make the effort. Find your kind. at the identity recertification site for your racial and ethnic identity, you will be asked to surrender any previously issued forms of identification. If you currently have in your possession a driver's license, passport, or birth certificate, you will be processed more quickly. All applicants for identity recertification will be asked to supply a sample of DNA. The sample will most commonly be obtained in the form of a saliva specimen. to assist non-viable persons in your care. If you can, move the non-viable person to the nearest human remains removal site. Cover the non-viable person's head with a cloth or piece of cardboard. Pick up the heaviest object that you can lift, a rock or a piece of concrete, and drop the rock from a height of at least three feet directly above the center of the non-viable person's head. Rocks and suitable objects can be found at all human remains removal sites. It is not necessary to look under the covering to determine if the non-viral victim is still alive. If you are unsure if you are successful in your assistance effort, adjust the head covering if necessary and drop the rock again. viable person for federal pickup and removal. Do not remain in the area. Move on to your gathering site. <laughs>